drove up to Newcastle this beautiful Saturday morning to go to the Hunter and Gatherer Markets. Um, I'm excited to check it out. It is 11 a.m. I really have to pee, <laughs> so we need to find a toilet and a parking spot first. But it should be fun. We haven't ever come up to any markets in Newcastle before, so I'm excited to look around. I was brave and I changed my septum piercing. I'm only going to leave it in, obviously, for today because it's more of a decorative one, but how funny does it look? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wish I had some silver frame sunglasses so that it wasn't, like, mixing metals so strongly on my face, but that's all right. Newcastle's really pretty. I like it here. What'd you get? How pretty it is. Nice. It's one of a kind. What do you do with it? Hang it on your belt. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I already ruined it, so I thought I'd ruin it. You've made I'm it. I'm glad you did. <laughs> so many vlogs. You said it in every vlog. Probably. Do any of your cars get really dirty really fast? I think partially is because we have Lola and like she sheds and there's friggin dirt everywhere or because we go to the beach. Either which way, her car's dirty all the time. <laughs> and Glenn leaves his freaking golf clubs in the back. Not bad. Look at those lashes today. Oh yes. So I did absolutely nothing as planned this afternoon. I got home and I was super hot because um, it's way hotter on the coast than it was at Newcastle for whatever reason. And I walked upstairs and I literally just passed out on the bed. And I just woke up and it is 5.55 p.m. So there goes my Saturday afternoon. I don't really know how that happened, but apparently I needed it. So I honored my body and went with it. I'm so ready for this little ingrown hair infected zit to go away. It is like the bane of my fucking existence. I absolutely hate it. I struggled for about 15 minutes to put in my old septum. It's so difficult to get the clasp closed on this one. My skin can be so frustrating sometimes. I just don't understand why it does what it does. Like, all the healthy skin that doesn't have a zit on it or isn't like clearing up from a zit is really really nice and like it feels nice and it, it has a great tone to it and everything's totally fine and then for whatever reason I've been getting like terrible acne through here and when I went to the doctor in Canada about it because I had it like bad when I was in Canada 
um, she basically said it was all hormonal and she was talking about putting me on like any type of medicine for it, but um, we couldn't do it because she had to like monitor me with it. And I don't really want to go on a medicine for acne because I just, I don't like putting that shit in my body. Like I don't even like taking Tylenol or ibuprofen or Nurofen for Australians, like that type of like headache stuff. I don't even like taking that shit. Um, so it's kind of like a big step to look into doing something acne wise but like realistically speaking it's my job you know and like my face is my job and having acne or having bad acne is a problem for me so i don't really know i feel like it's been so much better over the past maybe month and all that i have left are like clearing up of really really bad stuff and other than obviously this weird little fucking infected ingrown hair like the rest of it is just clearing up it's not really new things so i don't know i think i'm just gonna wait it out and see it's just a disheartening thing like i feel like i'm a very forthcoming and i don't know confident person in so many which ways and to have your skin be just shit is is really frustrating so any of you girls out there with acne i feel you I feel you. I want to know, do you guys take off your jewelry the moment that you get home? Because I do. I feel like the moment that I walk through my door, I get like super fucking claustrophobic and I just need to take it all off. So I have like a little dish near my bed and near the door where I can like stash all my shit because usually when I wear rings, I like stack the hell out of them. Um, but yeah, I have to take them off. My fingers just feel like, oh my god, get them off right now. I have all my jewelry in these two top drawers. Um, the first one is all of my silver stuff. And then the left one is all of my gold stuff. And then the next drawer I have jewelry as well, but it's just like more pieces that are either bigger and chunkier or pieces that I don't really use as often. Um, I really need to get around to doing like a proper beauty room tour. I've been saying that for fucking two years since I've lived here, but like, I just want it to be the exact way that I want it because I only want to do it once. And especially since we are moving back to Canada, hopefully for end of January, like this is also a memento for me to have of like, this was my house when I bought my first house and this is how I had my first room. And like, this is something that I can show my kids and I want to make sure that it's exactly the way that I want it before I do it, you know? Um, and it's so close, it really is. Like there's only a couple more things I wanna do. Like um, we have to paint the skirting boards and we have to paint like the frames around the doors and the windows. And I wanna get um, a proper set of curtains. So this is what my jewelry drawers are looking like. And there is the gold one. And then the next one's over. Look like this. So see what I mean? Kind of organized like that. There's a lot of bracelets in this one. And then the third one down is more like chunky necklacey things. I don't have um, a black thing in here just because I feel like these are bigger necklaces and they don't um, fit in the little holes. But I do want to find like a little chunk of like, I don't know, velvet or like some kind of drawer or something to put these on just so that they don't slide around so much. But yeah, that's where I've been keeping my jewelry. If any of you we're wondering. I think that one thing that I learned from building this closet slash room, whatever you want to call it, my beauty room, um, is like I'm I'm super happy. I'm super grateful that that I did it, and I I'm really glad that I have my own space in the house to do it. But I definitely would do it differently next time. Um, having filmed here and having I don't know just organized in here, I think that I know a little bit better for next time. Like, for example, um, you know how I have the four, like, um, like the four things right here, like, in this area, or, like, basically this big chunk? Um, I like that, but what I don't like is I don't like that I put my clothes hanging next to it, because I feel like the background just looks really kind of messy and cluttered, versus if I put, um, uh, like, the four cube things here, and then, like, my shoes or something like that, I feel like... If I did that and put the clothes on the outside, it wouldn't look as cluttered or as messy. Just little things like that, you know? Like, you live and you learn. And it obviously really doesn't matter that much. But, like, I feel like that would have been a way neater background than that for you guys to see. And I feel like I've been struggling lately trying to find a 
less busy background and trying to figure out like which way I want to shoot. Like I think I might shoot some videos where the shoes are in the corner and all you see is kind of this white background and like this. But on the other hand, like I, I still don't know. I really don't. I do want to try and figure out if I can light my wallpaper well enough to do like a background maybe over in here and like <laughs> have like that as a background but even then like it's too plain you know like there's a level of like plain and, and well done and even doing right here it looks great but then the mirror I don't know just have to play around with it a little bit more but yeah there's just I guess there's just different things that I would do next time and it's exciting it's a good thing it's something that i hope that if any of you for whatever reason have the desire to build a closet or a beauty room maybe you can take some of these tips for yourself and take that into account but um like overall i am i'm really happy with it i just i would do things a little differently i wanted to show you guys this picture that i took at shambhala this is one of my favorite pictures that I took. It's of all of the totems or the signs. And I looked up at one of the stages and this is what I saw. And I just thought it was so perfect to have a Star Wars one and a Seinfeld one because I love Seinfeld. And the Alan and the Steve one and like, uh, it was just, it was a perfect moment for me. I don't even know what I'm wearing. I just kind of threw it on when I woke up. <laughs> my little gypsy harm pants and like a freaking white crop top. It's like falling off my tits. I just don't know guys, I just don't know. <laughs> Take your fashion advice from me. <laughs> change tops the last one was just completely falling off and no matter how much I adjusted it it was just not gonna work um, I made myself a little snack plate and I have hummus celery some falafel chips and my dog and some water and my hard drive and my phone and my computer because I am going to edit um, I'm gonna finish off a video that I'm hoping to put up tomorrow and you guys will see that one before you see this one so go check out the video on my main channel I wanted to quickly touch bases on healthy food and a lot of you have said that I've inspired you to eat a little bit better which is freaking awesome. High five, congratulations. You are on first steps of feeling like a completely new person. Um, I just wanna let you know that it can totally be done. I find a little tip for eating healthy is to take an extra two seconds and present it nicely because if it looks nice and you're like ooh this is adorable i love it i could put it on instagram that's a nice plate that's a nice this that's a nice that if you feel like that for whatever reason you're more inclined to actually eat it and you're more inclined to grab for it and go and it doesn't have to be complicated it's just nice to have like a couple nice dishes or a couple nice plates around that you can put your food onto that makes you feel kind of happy it makes you feel like yeah that's cute i want to eat that I don't know why that helps me or why <laughs> why that is something that I would even think of, but maybe it might help you. I don't know. Let me know if you do that too. Look what the cat dragged in. There's pollen plants everywhere and it's getting my hay fever, so I'm afraid to sit outside, but we'll see how it goes. I think you just came for the food. I think you both just <laughs> came for the food. <laughs> She's like, well, I like celery. I like falafel chips. Glenn cleaned the backyard. I showed you guys on Snapchat yesterday, but Glenn and Mitchell um, mowed and cleaned and did all that. I still need to trim the lavender plant though. It's not gonna flower. It has one little measly flower on it. It's not actually properly flowering. It's not for me. No, it's not enough for me. But um, we should plant like ASAP because we're late planting this year. Yeah, we're gonna plant some vegetables. Some vegetables. Creepy cat. Look at her just sitting there. We just call her creepy cat because look at her look at that like vacant stare in her eyes i love it all right we're gonna eat and edit we'll see you guys later i've just been editing for like the last hour and a bit and my program just fucking quit and i don't know if it's saved and i'm like sitting here fingers crossed that it didn't completely fuck up and now the program isn't even opening. I'm so worried. That was scary. Really, really I hate it when shit like that happens. <sighs> so it's just past 10. I am pouring myself a bath, as I'm sure you can hear in the background. Um, Glenn and I have been editing for the past four hours-ish. 
Um, he just finished editing some vlog stuff and now he's moved on to some uni homework. And that was our Saturday night. Our wild and crazy Saturday. Woo! I hope that you enjoyed today's video and I'll talk to you guys really soon. Good night!